So we've now gotten to the part where we're actually going to talk about ATP synthesis, the most exciting of all. This has been our goal the whole time. So ATP synthesis is also going to occur along the inner, uh, the inner membrane of the mitochondria. And ATP synthase is a large protein complex that lives along this inner mitochondrial membrane, big, huge protein complex that's responsible for synthesizing ATP. And I kind of think of ATP synthase kind of like a little ride that the proton gets to go on. Or you could also think of it like some of those Rube Goldberg machines where like, you know, a ping pong ball enters and then it causes a water wheel to turn and all of the, you know, a whole kind of domino reaction. So think about that a little bit. What's going to actually be happening here is that a proton, uh, these protons that we have in very high concentration in the inner membrane space, they are going to enter the top side of ATP syn uh, synthase. From there, uh, the ATP synthase is going to rotate and cause that protein, that proton to go through equivalent of like a water wheel. And, and then that, as that water wheel turns, it's going to bring the bottom side of ATP synthase. It's going to bring an ADP and a phosphate very close together. And so as the, as the ATP synthase turns and brings the ADP and phosphate very close together, that causes the phosphate to get added to ADP to form a phosphate bond and turn it into ATP. So that's how we're actually synthesizing the ATP here, is the protons are entering the ATP synthase. They're going through a little water wheel that's, ca that's causing the ATP synthase protein to, uh, to change shape, bring the ADP, to, uh, ADP and phosphate in close proximity to make ATP. And then at the end, the proton just kind of flies down a little slide and ends up inside the, inter uh, in inside the matrix of the mitochondria. So the, and now the bringing this phosphate in close proximity to ADP to actually form a bond that requires a big investment of energy. But remember that we have this huge amount of potential energy here because we have such a high concentration of protons inside this inner membrane space. So that is how we are able to harness the potential energy in order to synthesize ATP and to create those high energy phosphate bonds. Okay, so, and now finally, once those protons, once they have gone through ATP synthase and they have ended up inside the mitochondrial matrix, now they can go and rejoin with the electrons and um, make water at the very end of the electron transport chain. So then everybody is happy at the end.